What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Right behind me, I have a Tesla Model S that we are doing a Corporal Wolf body kit on it. Let's get into today's video. All right guys, so right here, we have the first ever final prototype from Corporal Wolf. We are, have helped him a little bit with some of this development to get this car ready for the SEMA show. And right now it has been fully body work. Let me show you kind of what that kind of looked like when we are working on it. And now it is getting ready for its final primer and get it ready into paint. The Corporal Wolf body kit consists of a front bumper, two side skirts, rear bumper, and rear wing. Now back here we have the rear bumper has been fully primered and now it's time to get the thing prepped out for paint. Uh, today we're going to focus on getting these blocks out, get a little bit more primer on everything and get everything in the paint by tomorrow. What's up guys, Saul here from SOS Customs. We're going to be working on these Tesla bumpers, getting them ready for paint. Uh, as you saw, uh, they come in a Ford pattern of carbon fiber. So we have the little rendering of how it's supposed to look. So basically, we're obviously going to keep this, this forge for the rear diffuser. The front, obviously we have everything already blocked out and prepped out, ready for paint. Basically what we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave this piece here in forged and also this piece in forged and the lip in forged. So we're gonna get that masked up and the rest is gonna be body color, which the car is white. We're gonna get that ready. Abraham's been working on this really, really, really hard. He says uh, they're perfect. Right Abraham? Yes. Hey. Perfecto? Yes, but look at this one. But we'll make it pretty. <laughs> So the Mexican Mexican word of the day is fail. What does fail mean? Okay. Ugly. There you go. There you go. You guys are gonna learn Spanish in no time with us. So. Get this messed up for Richard. Alright guys, so here are the original bumpers for the Tesla. What we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna transfer all this harness. So we're gonna take this, which is the sensor holders and the harness all the way around and we're gonna fit it onto the new bumper so we'll be able to mock up and then drill out the holes, get that mocked up so that it's, everything's fitted perfect before we go into paint. So we have the front bumper as well, which has all its sensors and we'll do pretty much the same thing for that bumper there. So we'll get that transferred up. I'll show you guys the process. We're gonna be using some panel bond and uh, getting everything ready for that process. We got Mr. Calvin. 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 Kevin, Good. Kevin, Good. Russo, everything. You, you see him, he changes his name all the time. So I don't know what to call him now. He's now a nitrous bottle. I don't know. He, he goes by media, any On name. social media, I'm Danny Ocean. Danny Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, see? See? What the hell do you call him? That's what I'm saying. But all right, well, we all, all back to, to, to reality here is we're working on the Tesla. We have it up on the lift. Obviously, we're going to get this car to SEMA. We're mocking up. The, the side skirts here, we're making a little bit of uh, some brackets that kind of form fit everything. Obviously, uh, getting this painted, we're going to leave this painted here. Leave the forged carbon exposed to kind of show that, that off. Pretty much factory suspension here, but obviously Kevin is the one that just can't leave things to be stock. He always has to modify it somehow. So we got to, what, what do we got here, Kevin? Um, well, I'll be fair and say that this is a new company that I've yet to install by scale. And yet alone, this is my first Tesla, so we'll be learning along the way as we go. But it should be like your normal suspension setup, coilover install. So we shouldn't be running into many issues. Hopefully not. I don't want to curse <laughs> it just yet. But yeah, it should be a smooth install is what we're hoping for. We never run into issue, guys. Never. Everything's perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think overall, uh, as far as the suspension? How is everything? Um, well, Ooh, that's kind of a cool are, little, little yeah, deal here. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty well-made coilover. Um, one thing that I've noticed, obviously, from the stuff that I've installed, some lower ends will leave the preload for you to adjust, and some high-end brands will already preset the preload, so you don't really need to mess with it unless you change it to a desired spec 
track drift, whatever, etc. But this is gonna be a daily driven street car, so we should be comfy as can be. All right, so we got Chompiras, I guess that's his new nickname, Jose. Es brava tu mujer. En efecto, pero no te preocupes, la tengo vacunada contra la rabia. <laughs> Menos mal. Chompiras? Here. I don't know if you guys know, if you guys are Mexican shows, uh, Chompiras, he wears that hat. So right now, uh, Jose is very fond of Elon Musk. He loves anything to do with Tesla. Hi, everyone. I'm Elon Musk. And, but the funny thing is that his unfavorite color to match is, what color is this? I'm colorblind. I, I see it as gray. So he's, <laughs> here guys, there you can see, this is white. Right, but he sees it as a gray, like a grayish, bluish, white. So, so that's so. Tell me about your color no, no, matching no, 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 skills no, 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 here. What we're looking at is that the uh, side tone. Side tone looks pretty like bright, but then when you look at the face, it has like a grayish, bluish tone to it. So that's what really messes with my head. You know, white's uh, real good color that. I hate shooting and I hate matching. I don't know why. I'd rather do three stage. Honestly, I think three stage is a little bit easier. <laughs> but Jose, he's been under the gun before. We got Sima coming. He'll have no problem matching it up. So, you see he, you know, he, you know, he'd be calling. He'll be tweeting Elon, telling, "Hey, you know, I need to get this color right." White. So Elon, white paint. Elon, let us know when you get this color right. Black who? Hi, who? He got it right. I need him. He's gonna say. Call me when he gets the color right. <laughs> Labran has been busting ass on these bumpers. He's almost there. Pretty much is uh, making sure that every little line, everything's, you know, detailed because once we shoot these, you know, it's gonna show everything. So we wanna make sure everything's feathered out, looking nice. And then at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and clear coat uh, the forged carbon fiber on these pieces just to make them even look even better. All right guys, I wanted to show you why I was up in there. We were fitting up the side skirts, which are, the forged carbon fiber the same on the Tesla Model S. Pretty much pretty good fitment overall. Uh, we're making a little bit of brackets here to attach it, to kind of secure it. And from the bottom, we're gonna be putting a couple screws to kind of secure it all along the bottom. And right up on this face, we should be able to put like some double-sided tape just to relieve that and kind of fill in that gap. But we want to go ahead and test fit everything, make sure everything fits up good. If we have to do any modifications, we went ahead and did a bracket there as well. And then from there, like I said, I don't know if I showed you guys, we're gonna be painting this little section here and leaving the rest exposed. But overall, they're gonna be looking good. They're gonna be solid, making the brackets for them. We'll get them over to Abran so we can go ahead and finish up prepping and getting everything masked up for the paint process. All right guys, as I was telling you, we're gonna have to transfer the sensors from this original Tesla bumper onto the new carbon fiber bumper. So what we kind of did, uh, what Oscar did was, uh, he went ahead and measured the distance from from this sensor to this sensor and kind of marked it. And from there, we went ahead and transferred it to the new bumper, which is gonna be here. And then obviously it measures the same distance to here, then measured to here and so on and so forth all along the bumper. Obviously this has a different face of the bumper here. This is more of a wider area. So basically we're just making this come up higher, but they're all in the same location. So that should be fine. We'll transfer that, the mounts. We'll go ahead and start perforating the bumper so we can go ahead and mount these, uh, these um, sensors onto the bumper. Same with the rear. We're gonna be doing the same thing, so. The other Mexican word of the day is perforar. <laughs> tu hoyo. Tu hoyo? <laughs> <laughs> earlier, earlier Oscar was saying, he goes, Hey, ven, ven, wey. Quiero que, que, que me cheque los hoyos. And you know, us Mexicans, we like, hey, what do you mean by that? It can mean two forms. So I always like cracking jokes and messing with these guys, but we have to have fun. We're here late, working late, getting these things finished up so we can have a good SEMA. So he's gonna buy the carnitas tomorrow. So we'll, have, we'll be All nice right. and fed. All right, guys, good morning, good morning. We're here on track for SEMA and we're just slaving away trying to get these car finished up. As you saw last night, uh, we marked the front bumpers uh, for the Tesla. We went ahead and already kind of pre-drilled the holes for the sensors. 
We still have to make them a little bit bigger, make sure they fit off the original bumpers, but uh, Brian and Oscar are doing such a great job. We're kind of detailing some of the carbon fiber uh, pieces. It's gonna need a little bit of resin on some areas just to clean it up. Plus, we're gonna go ahead and clear coat the whole uh, bumper anyway, so that'll make it look good. So let's go check on Kevin um, and see how the coilover install is going. Good morning. How's she going, Mr. Morning. Kevin? We're, we're getting there. As um, we said yesterday, we've never worked on one of these, so we're learning as we go, and we definitely <laughs> learn. So shout out to Scale for a quick response. Um, if you guys are dealing with them, they did respond a lot quicker through Instagram yes. rather than the 1-800 number, but we figured it out, so shout out to you guys. Front should be easier going rather than the base plate that they add to the rear of this uh, adaptation for the coilovers. So it did give us a run for our money, but we figured it out, so now we're moving on to the front. So. Here we go. All right, guys, so we'll show you here the install. Pretty much the overall scale, the size of this coilover, obviously it's a lot smaller because everything's more compact, preload, everything's different. But what we did, like you said, me and Kevin were, were kind of arguing about like, ah, oh, is it gonna be the same? But it does have, you see very up there, let me zoom in so you guys can see, there is an adapter plate that goes to the base of the body and the coilover or the shock would bolt into that, which you guys can see there. And from there, that'll go right into it. Go where it bolts here on the spindle. So I wanted to show you now that we got the holes all made, we mocked up the sensors and we went ahead and transferred everything to the back of the bumper by using panel bond. We had to grind down the fiberglass a little bit to kind of make sure, see how much the depth that went in, just to make sure that the, the sensor was flush to the front. We got all that panel bonded to go. Pretty much uh, El Chilango. His name's Oscar, but AKA, you know, everybody has nicknames Chilango. He's getting everything fitted here. So you can see where the... Uh, All right guys, so we got the Tesla parts in the booth, ready for paint. We got Abran, the master masker, el masqueador de los masqueadores. Ooh, me gustó, eh? He likes that. Really good at getting everything prepped out and masked up. So right now we're getting all these lines. There's a lot of intricate stuff that you guys don't see that goes on before paint, especially when something like this with the forge or carbon fiber pieces, two-tone, we have to make sure we we masked off the body lines and what's gonna stay color, what's gonna stay carbon. So we're getting this all masked up for that process. Got the side skirts as well. We're gonna be painting this and leaving this exposed. Jose's taking care of all the little details. Gonna get his suit on and start spraying some paint on it. He said he loved toning this color. It was his favorite color. Elon, he lo I, I love you, right? Love you, you Elon. E God, I love you. Send the rockets or what? Yeah, send us to Mars. You need some custom shit at Mars, let us know. Elon, you hear that? We got you, brother. We got you. All right, guys, let's get this thing into paint. All right, guys, we're here late, but finally we got everything all masked up and ready for Richard to do his magic. So let me go around and show you what we got masked up so Richard can go to town, baby. All right, Richard, it's all up to you. All right guys, so you guys seen this thing get lowered. You guys saw this thing get body worked and installed and painted and everything like that. Let's show you guys the final product.
All right, once we got the wheel off, Kevin's gonna go ahead and get this adjusted. As you can see here, pretty much typical coilover. Go ahead and loosen up the sleeve. We'll go ahead and spin it up. It was just too low for us. Kevin loves that low life. Well, this Tesla is not about that low life. We'll rip that bumper right off. Full sends only. Full send, baby. Go up, uh, what did you say, an inch and a half? Uh, two inches and a half in the rear, two up front. Is that about what you got? Uh, I mean, you can always give it that extra inch. Oh, about that extra inch, huh? <laughs> All right guys, the day has come where we got the Tesla all finished up. We all stayed really late to get this thing finished up, make sure the bumpers are on, side skirts, everything. We just finished detailing it. So it's gonna be Vegas bound here shortly. So I want a big shout out to all the guys that worked on it really late. Oscar Chilango, we got Kevin, we got me, we got Oscar, we got El Masteador allá, El Abran. Like everybody just put their part into it. G, everybody cleaning it up, making sure everything is good. It's, it's just part of uh, coming together in the family here at SOS Customs. Our everybody is just, we're all into cars. We co come together for a common purpose. This is the finished product. So Corporal Wolf, we'll see you at SEMA. Let's go look at it. Here she is, all finished up. I know you guys saw everything, but just look at the way everything looks. That front bumper looks so good. Right now, you can't really see it. I'll show you the back, but it's that forged carbon fiber. And we kind of painted and masked everything off to kind of make this thing look right and stand out. But man, it looks so good, guys. Got the side skirts with forged as well, carbon fiber. Got the coilovers, the stance we got perfect. Shout out to Scale for the coilovers. Look get that back, the forge there. All right guys, so as you saw, the kit looks amazing. Corporal Wolf killed it on the design. We killed it on the execution. And uh, we're gonna be seeing this thing at SEMA. We'll see you guys over there. Oh, look at the biggest toilet ever made. Damn. Right Damn. Biggest toilet, yeah. biggest trash can. Hey right, guys, we're here. They were having a snoring match between these two guys, Este y Este. And it was funny because one would snore louder and then they would wake up and then they would go back to sleep and the other one would snore louder and then they would wake up. So I have to say, uh, the winner has to be Abran. You're the winner, Abran. Pokemon master. Snorlax. <laughs> before the night starts. This is the before. I saw Kevin this is the before. <laughs> <laughs> so, walking up to Sima. With the gang, big hit Oscar, Russo, uh, so Abraham, Jody, Oscar, Alex. I see the fall. Don't worry about it. Everybody's here. Chino on the back. Walk it up to see my and see how it's gonna go today. And I don't know what else to say. Cut. Tuck one.
think, yeah? It's nice. It's nice, but huh? We still got to have these CRs. Oh no, we have the CRs. Finally get the CRs. Thank you guys so much for showing up. This is uh, such a cool opportunity that Magnafil gives us. And uh, this is the third year that we have been here in a row with a new Street Hunter car. And what makes this year very, very special is that not only do we have one, we have two cars that we have put so much time into. And before we even dive onto that, I want to first off just thank, there's so many individuals behind me and there's so many individuals that can't even be here today. Uh, but I think when people look at Street Hunter, they think, oh, that's TJ Hunt's my body pump. And I like to stop people immediately and tell them that no, it, it's not. It, yes, I may be the face of it, but Street Hunter is built on such an amazing group of people, such amazing, talented individuals. Dylan is a big partner. John Sabal, who is the best renderer in the game, best designer in the game. He deals with all of my annoying requests in last minute phone calls and of course SOS Customs and if you guys watch the videos you know who they are, shout out Oscar. Uh, they have helped us so much with getting everything where it needs to be before setting up off the mold and out all these amazing people and these amazing partners. None of these builds will be here today and I don't think that Street Hunter would be what it is today and I just want to get a round of applause for everyone that's made this possible today. but OEM type of, of look to it. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Under these lights, looks so good. Oh, what was my, what was my lingo? What was my singing? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we out here, 2022, SEMA show. You know what it is, you know what we do. Pop, pop, pop your collars. Popping collars, popping checks, popping necks. What are we doing out here? Breaking backs. Breaking backs. Yeah. Master builder right master here. Master builder right there. <laughs> Prototype master right here. <laughs> Your way around All right, you. guys, we're out here at SEMA looking at this BRZ and looking at the Z. Two beautiful cars. Look at Jody. Papa did his work. Looking at his progress, his performance. This thing looks sick, man. Ain't got a lie. Ain't got a lie. There's a lot of people packed over here. You can tell how I go around and around. BRZ looks so good under lighting. Get out of your way. It looks real good. And I'm happy that me and my work did, and we do amazing work. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at SEMA with Copa Wolf Tesla set up. It looks beautiful. Look at this thing under the lights. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at SEMA with Copa Wolf Tesla set up. It looks beautiful. Look at this thing under the lights. Great. A lot of time and effort went into getting this kit fitted and looking as good as it, did, it does. Steve killed it. We look forward to maybe doing some more Tesla. So guys, if you guys get a chance to check this car out and take a look at it on video, man. If you need to definitely upgrade your Tesla, get this kit. It'll look great. Gives it something. A lot of people are kind of scared of modifying their Tesla because they don't want to mess. But just this Aero kit alone, it's going to make it look really good. So let's go look at some more cars. Kevin, how do you feel? It feels nice. Yeah? Yeah. This thing looks nice. Yeah, see, I just went with the Stage 4 on my Turbo B steer setup, and it's not compared yeah. to that, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this thing has electric power steering, and that little knob right there.
All right, guys, here we are, day two. We are here at the Hoonigan Burnyard at the SEMA show. And behind us is the beautiful 350Z slash 370Z with the custom one of one Liberty Walk uh, that we extended to be RWB style wide. This thing is wide as they come. Let's take a closer look at it. did we do a full custom color change and wide body on this thing but we also did a very beautiful bespoke leather interior here from SOS Customs. Our task for today was to find two cars that we found to be our favorite here at the SEMA show. Not being biased, but I know what uh, B is for build went through in uh, when they confiscated the car he was building. And I don't even want to say the name because it starts with the E though. You guys will know. And uh, he ended up building his own version of this car and doing something that I love because I have a Mustang myself and uh, I think it's awesome. I know it's just wrap for now. The SEMA Crunch, we've been there, but once that bodywork is perfect, even with this wrap, it looks really good. So I have to say this is my first pick for the SEMA. B is for build. I like this one. Widest body I've seen on this thing. Look at this thing. It's wickedly wide. Wide wheels. A barrel on the back of this wheel. If you look it up, it's like negative. 142 offset, something crazy to that sort. And mid engine is just this thing. This thing's awesome. So on my way to see number two. guys and that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate you guys being with us on this journey to build this car within a couple weeks and you guys saw every single step of the way so we really enjoyed building these things and bring you guys along here to SEMA to enjoy the whole experience so thank you guys so much for watching that will wrap up today's video make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button for new up-to-date videos follow us on IG here at SOS Customs we got you coming. Yeah.